Hello, I think we're on. Are we live? I think we are. Hello everybody, my name's Rob and I am the Bowtie Balloon Guy. Now then, before we get started, I need to switch on my uh, my comments here so I can see what you're saying to me. Because I'd like to know what you're, what you're saying. So if we get that set up and going, uh, it'll happen soon. Right then, excellent. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and seeing me. Uh, so as I said, my name is Rob and I am the bow tie balloon guy. I've got my, my bow tie on and welcome to my balloon cupboard. This is my balloon cupboard and as you can see, it is full of balloons. Uh, balloons everywhere. People ask me how many balloons I've got at home sometimes and I think it must be thousands. But this is my, my little balloon cupboard which I've spent the last oh, few days turning into a TV studio which is very exciting. Never done this before. Now then, uh, shall I give you a little guided tour of my balloon studio? I've got my, my lovely little doggies here, which are um, which are actually lights. You can see just about that they're little light bulbs. I've got my lovely balloon dog up here, which actually came from a lady in Germany called Linda. So I, I, like, I like him, he's very nice. Uh, I've got my lovely balloon flowers here, and I've got my my lovely balloons over here and down here which you can't see I've got all my balloons they're all hidden away at the minute but we're going to get to those as we go and uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is this thing here you can't see this very well but this is my balloon pump it's hidden away down here it's a very big balloon pump it doesn't take gas it just blows normal air it's very cool so now you've had the guided tour, I think we should start by making a balloon. What are we going to make? Now I already know what we're going to make, and this is something that a lady called Hayley asked me to make. So, should we see if you can guess what it's going to be? I'm going to get a balloon out from down here. Here we go. Green one. And I need a white one. Green and white. What could it be? I'm going to blow this up. There we go. Feel free to say hello, by the way, if you want. I can see your comments coming up just down here. Excellent stuff. Now, this is my balloon here. Nice green balloon. I'm going to start making this into something. Any guesses yet? These balloons are very squeaky sometimes. How about now? Any guesses with that? We've got any guesses yet? Let's have a look. Oh, we've got some hellos to do in a minute. Oh, what could it be? A few more twists. Now, these balloons come in all different shapes and sizes. Uh, this one is a, a very common size to use. But the white one I've got down here is a much smaller balloon. I think you might start to guess what this might be now. I'm going to blow up this small one here. I've got people guessing. A worm. It's not a worm. A dog. Oh, someone's guessed a dog. Oh, it's not a dog. I think this will be the, the, uh, the giveaway here. I'm going to do lots of small bubbles. Oh, some more guesses coming in. A llama. Good guess, llama. It's not a llama. A runny babbit, someone said. <sighs> Who said that? Jenny, Jenny, a runny babbit. Very funny. Here we go. Let's do some more. I think some people might be guessing. I think they are. I think Phil's got it right. Of that balloon there, turn his mouth the right way around. It's looking like a dinosaur. Look at those teeth. Now, then, let me get my pen out because we need some eyes. Here's eye number one, still squeaky. Here's eye number two, big eyes like that. Look. And then we need some lines on his nose there and just like that. So there we have our dinosaur. Ah, look at that. Fantastic. Excellent stuff. 
I'm going to put him down here. There we go. Brilliant. One dinosaur. Now then, I've had quite a lot of comments before we started. I uh, asked everybody to send in some ideas of things which I could make. And I've had lots of comments. I had all sorts of things. Dinosaurs, one of them. Uh, I had people asking me to make a sloth. I might do that in a few weeks' time or a few days' time. Uh, all sorts of things. Now, one of the things I was asked was a dog. Now, it wasn't just a dog. It was a particular type of dog. And the dog I was asked to make was a Border Collie. Now, normally when balloon people ask to make a dog, they just make a dog like one of these. But I've... I spent a little bit of time and I made a border collie. Here we go with a border collie. Now, it was Linda who asked me to make a border collie. There he is there, look. There you go, our little border Now, border collies are usually found on farms and they are the dogs that look after all the sheep. All right, so sometimes you get you get the farmers who do that special whistling with their, with their mouth, which I can't do. And all the dogs will run around and collect up all the sheep and herd them around. So. There is our little border collie. There we go. So that is a border collie for Linda there. Fantastic. I'm going to put him down there. Now then, boys and girls, the other thing I was asked to do, or I asked you to, to send in, was uh, any birthdays. And we do have some birthdays. Okay. And I've got some birthdays over here. I'm going to have a look at the comments in a minute as well and see if we've got any other birthdays. So here we go then. Uh, we've got Oliver. Hello, Oliver. Oliver is six years old. Last week he had his party cancelled. Don't worry Oliver, you can have another one later on I'm sure. And I hope you did have a good birthday. Uh, so that's Oliver's party there. Uh, Lolly. Lolly was five on Monday. Hello Lolly. I saw Lolly on Monday. It uh, popped in and I saw her from a distance. So hello Lolly. I hope you enjoyed your balloon that you got from me. Uh, then we got Charlotte and Emily who are twins. Hi Charlotte and Emily. Uh, they are both five years old twins and they're both five that's pretty good going lucky that isn't it ah, there we go i've got some more mentions to do should we see if we've got any more birthdays in the comments here there we go let's have a look here because we've got lots and lots of comments oh now oh we've got a hello here from liliana hello liliana oh and elodie as well hello elodie they are from petersfield amazing stuff hello you two. Oh, oh we've got lots of good guesses uh we've got uh, Darcy, who is age five. Hello, Darcy. Nice to see you. And Emily as well. Well done. Emily's too old to mention, apparently, so I won't mention you, Emily. I'll keep that a secret. Uh, we've got Nathan. Hello, Nathan. Uh, he knows me and I know him, so that's good. Well done. Uh, uh, oh, some good guesses here. And uh, a dinosaur. Yes, that's right. Oh, some good guesses for what animals we were making earlier. Let's just see if there's any more. Oh, Jess. Hello, Jess. You had a good guess there. Jess guessed it was a dinosaur. Well done. And uh, hello from Max. Hello, Max. I think I know Max. That's good. Well done. Uh, let's see. Any more guesses? Wow. Uh, Max and Oliver. Max and Oliver Payne in Portster. Hello, Max and Oliver Payne. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're all doing your homework, by the way, all your schoolwork. Very good. Uh, oh, I've had some more requests here. A An amazing Bernese. I know someone who's got a Bernese dog, a Bernese mountain dog. Uh, uh, oh, we've got someone who's asking for a unicorn. Maybe we'll do a unicorn one day. It's very good. And uh, some... Oh, we've got someone watching from North Carolina in the USA. I've gone international. Let's have a look. See see uh, who that is. I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't see. It is uh, Patty. Hello, Patty from the USA. Wow, I've gone international. That's amazing. And Hal. Hello, Hal. You're in Canada. Didn't realise I was going to go around the world with this. This is amazing. Oh, Lolly says thank you for your happy birthday message. Amazing. Thank you, Lolly. Well done. And Oliver says uh, thank you. That's brilliant. Wonderful stuff. Well, we've got some more mentions to, to do later on. Now then, one of the other uh, requests I had was for uh, an animal. Now, before I show you this animal, I need to show you some other animals. And there's a little bit of a story here. And uh, the first animal I'm going to show you before I get to the actual animal is this one here. He's very small, but you'll get to see him, I think. So this is the very small little animal here. Can you see what he is? If I hold him in front of the black, you should be able to see he is a little mouse. I'm going to hold him right up to the camera so you can see him. There he is, a little mouse. And he's a very cute little mouse. Look at that. Now this mouse, 
likes to go walking in the woods. And I've got a little woodland scene here, which I've made. Look at that. Nice little tree for him to stand next to. And when he's walking in the woods, he loves to meet all his friends. And he's got some good friends. One of his friends is this one here. Little frog. Look at that. I think we should give him a pond to stand on. There we go. Not stand on. You don't stand on a pond, do you? Stand in a pond. Uh, very cute. There we go. Oh, can you see him all right? I think you can. That's good. Well, um, now then, he gets on with these friends, but sometimes he will meet an animal that he might not like. <gasps> Bit of a scary animal. And the first animal that he might meet is this one here. What's that? I'll tell you what it is. That is a fox. Now when mice eat foxes, they get a bit scared because foxes might eat mice. But this mouse has a plan because he will tell the fox that he's got a friend that he's going to see for dinner. And that friend has got big horns and big tusks. Can you guess who it is yet? I think someone might have guessed already. Well, that, that little... Uh, thing the mouse said there actually scared the fox away which is good but then there's another animal he might meet and that is this animal here what's that it's the an owl and the little mouse would say to the owl don't you eat me i'm going to see my friend and my friend has got big spikes down the back of his uh of his back and big claws i think some people are guessing what we're getting to here do you know what the last animal is Yes, this one here. It is a snake. <gasps> and the snake's feeling very hungry. But the mouse tells the snake, Don't eat me. I've got a friend who's got a big poisonous wart on the end of his nose. So, there's no, none of these animals knew that the mouse was making this animal up. Or was he? Because do you know what? There's no such thing as a gruffalo, is there? <gasps> There is, and I've made a gruffalo. Look at that for a gruffalo. Now then, Vicky asked me if I could make a gruffalo. How's that for a gruffalo? So thank you for your request there, Vicky. That was brilliant. Uh, excellent there, well done. Now then, boys and girls, uh, we're going to um, see if we can uh, get some more comments up here. Let's see what more comments we've got. Let's have a look here. I'm just going to have a look at the comments because we're going to do our birth our, our bloom challenge in a minute and uh we're going to have a look so i'm going to put the the lovely uh gruffalo down there brilliant i'm going to see what other comments we've got uh, everyone say bye bye mousy bye bye fox i'm going to leave the gruffalo out for a minute fantastic now then let's see what other comments we've got because we are going to do our bloom challenge i'm going to have a look at some of your comments and you've got to try and see if you can uh, give me any challenges that I can make now then let's see if I can get this up here because I've lost my uh, my uh, thing let's have a look here we go I'm a bit lost uh, I've lost I've lost me, me, me things that's right we'll do it from here I've used me long eyesight now then uh, oh that Lily Ace 2 would love a gruffalo look at that that's good now then, if you've got any ideas of things we can make now live type it up and see if we can make them so who's got some ideas let's have a look here uh, some ideas of things we can make uh, we've got oh, people saying bye to the fox uh, oh here we go we've got a birthday there Nancy you'll be six on Sunday hello Nancy wonderful happy birthday Nancy for Sunday well done uh, there we go oh lots of people saying they love the gruffalo that's why I've left in there you see that now then uh, let's have a look to see if we can get this going for some nice requests uh, my uh, my thing's not working at the moment. That's no good, is it? Okay then. Well, then, well then, let's have a look here. Who's got some, a Spider Man? Keep watching. Uh, hello, Nesper would love. Oh, what's that? I oh, can't see what Nesper is. All oh, an elephant. We could do an elephant. How about an elephant? Should we make an elephant? That's a good idea. I think we should go for an elephant. Here we go then. One elephant coming up. We're going to do a nice grey elephant. Here we go then. Shall I move the tree out of the way? Because if I don't, it'll all fall over and get in my way. Thank you, tree. Stay there, Gruffalo. One elephant. Now then, with an elephant, I always start with the tail. And this is going to be the tail here. 
very small tail, and some legs. I let go of it all. There we go. Now we need a body and some front legs. Now at the moment his body is a little bit thin, so we're gonna make him a little bit bigger. And now I think we're looking more like an elephant's body. All we need now is his head. And some of the most important things, his ears and his trunk. So we will do his ears and his trunk with another balloon. He looks a bit silly without ears and a trunk. Doesn't even look like an elephant. Doesn't look anything like an elephant, does it? Just you wait, because I'll get my nice grey balloon down here and let's see if we can make his ears and trunk. I've got Max and Lily watching together there, but hello Lily and Max. This one's a very squeaky balloon. There we go then. There's his trunk. Let's do one ear. And another ear. Now it looks like he's only got one big ear at the moment. So shall we turn those into two ears? Here we go. How's that looking for an elephant? That's a brilliant thing to make, that is. A brilliant idea, whoever said that was. I'll have to have a look later on and thank them. There you go, let's have a look. Some eyes. There we go, one elephant. I think you ought to do this as well. The elephants' trunks are amazing. They have these lovely little lines down there. Very cool animals. I know something amazing about elephants. Did you know the elephant is the only animal in the whole world that is called an elephant? Did you know that? It's very true. Silly, isn't it? There you go. There's our elephant. I'm going to put him with Mr. Gruffalo just over there. Fantastic. Now I've got some announcements to make. We've done, we've done some birthdays. We've got, also got some announcements because I've got lots of people who said, could I say hello to people? So let's have a look here. Here we go. Oh, that's not them. Wrong ones. There we go. So we've got Lewis. Hello, Lewis. Lewis is all the way, uh, all the way away in Birmingham. Hello, Lewis. Uh, I know he's watching there. So hi, Lewis. Hope you're having a good day. That's good. Uh, we've got uh, Luca, Leo and Lilia. Hi Luca, Luca, Leo and Lilia. I've got my L's mixed up there. Hello there, I hope you're having a good day. Uh, all the boys and girls, this is a big one, all the boys and girls at Court Lane School. Hello, that's a lot of boys and girls there. Excellent stuff. I think I'll be seeing you uh, a week on Saturday. I think I will. I hope I will. Sid, hello Sid. You are learning chess or you've been learning chess what a good thing to learn when, when you're your school learning how to play chess i don't know how to play chess do you sid does uh, lily hello lily you've been at home with mum and dad watching disney plus because i know you got disney plus for your birthday so that's brilliant well done lily i hope you're watching all the disney princesses excellent and oliver you've been building dens at home and doing your homework well done good stuff doing homework is very important Building dens is even better. So well done there. Good. Oh, and one more. Willow. Now Willow is one and a half years old. And her daddy asked Willow if she could name some things that I could make. So this is this her suggestions. She asked for a buzz, an apple, a buzz, a hot, a tar, an oo, and a ra. Hmm. Now how do I make those? I'll have to have a think about that Willow. 
maybe I'll come up with one of those later on. A ra sounds like a lion, doesn't it? I could make a lion. So maybe we could do that uh, at some point. So that's very good, a lion. Now then, I saw someone earlier ask for a Spider-Man. Now, I've got down here somewhere a Spider-Man all ready to go, but I haven't quite finished him. He's not quite finished, all right? So let's see if we can uh, if we can find this Spider-Man. I haven't done his head, so I've only done his body so far. We just need to finish him off. So here he is. He's got no head. Ah! Could be me, look. Blue. Oh, so there's our Spider-Man. He hasn't got a head at all. So I'm just going to finish him off. I hope that's all right. I've got the balloon down here. Let me reach down here. This is going to be Spider-Man's head. That's right, isn't it? There we go. I'm going to put that on there. Perfect. That's going to be ideal for the head of Spider-Man. Lovely. Look at that. Is that right? Isn't it right? Is that not... Oh, have I got the wrong colour? The trouble is, boys and girls, I have run out of red balloons. I have. I need a red round one, and I, I just haven't... Oh, actually, I wonder if you'd all help me. Would you all help me do a little bit of magic? Is that alright? Do you think you can do that? You've all got to wiggle your fingers like this. Can you all wiggle your fingers at your screens like that? Wiggle your fingers. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit of magic. <gasps> I hope this works. You can all say the magic words, Izzy, Wizzy, let's get busy. So here we go then, are you ready for this? We're all going to say the magic words, so wiggle your fingers, and after three we're going to say, Izzy, Wizzy, let's get busy. Are you ready? We go one, two, three. I didn't quite hear you there. Do you, do you think you could do it a bit louder? I need to hear it here in my studio, in my, in my balloon cupboard. So here we go, let's see if you can do this. Are you ready? We go one, two, three. Izzy, Wizzy, let's get busy. Be Did you all wiggle your fingers? Did you do it? We go, we go one, two, three. <gasps> Is that the right colour? Wow! Look at that. That happened quick, didn't it? Wow. Now he's not quite finished yet because he's got no eyes. <gasps> so let's stick some eyes on there, shall we? Let's see if we can get him finished quickly. Here we go. Let's put one eye on there. Look. There's one. Let's do another eye. There we go. Get that on there nice. <laughs> There's his two eyes there. We need our pen so we can draw on the black lines like that. And hopefully we will end up with an amazing Spider-Man. I think we need a bit of a cobweb on there as well, just to make sure that he is looking as near as to Spider-Man as we can. All the way around there. Do you know the Spider-Man song? Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does everything an elephant can. Isn't that right? Oh, must be something else then. Elephant. It's not an elephant, is it? There we go. There's our Spider-Man. How cool is that? I'm going to stand him over here. You stay there, Spider-Man. Brilliant stuff. Hopefully as the weeks go on and we do more of these, I'm going to end up filling my, my balloon room with lots more balloons. It's going to be crazy, I think. Now, boys and girls, I've made this superhero here. I think I'd just like to mention another superhero, if that's all right. There is another superhero uh, which I'd like to mention. Now, this isn't a superhero that you might think of. It's a different type of superhero. Now, I'm going to show you this superhero. And these are, really are superheroes at the moment because these superheroes are, are nurses. Now, I've made a little nurse. Because the nurses at the moment are doing an amazing job. They are doing a fantastic job for us all. So this is my little tribute to my nurse. Uh, if you're wondering, you can hear a little bell. That's my cat who's just walked in the room. So, so everybody say, hello, Lily the cat. She's just walked off now, so that's fine. So there you go. Now, this little nurse uh, is my tribute to all the amazing nurses who are doing a fantastic job at the moment. So well done to all those lovely nurses doing an amazing job and uh, well done to everybody all the key workers who are doing all that amazing work all those people working in the supermarkets uh, all those drivers everybody you're doing an amazing job so thank you very much for everything you've done now boys and girls i've decided to have a competition all right now this competition is going to be a bit of a silly one okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to get all the boys and girls out there, no matter where you are, right? You, I want you to draw a picture for me. And it's going to be a picture of something that you think 
I can make from balloons. Now it could be anything. If you think I can make a space rocket or a or a a dog, I can make dogs, or it could be anything, it could be a boat, or it could be a fish, or it could be anything you can think of. If you, I want you to make, make, do a nice drawing of it, take a picture of the drawing, and then you can post it on the Bowtie Balloon Guy Facebook page, or you can post it in the comments here, or on this event page, wherever you can think, all right, you've got to post it somewhere, as so I can get to it, okay? So it's either going to be uh, on the Bowtie Balloon Guy page, so on this events page, or uh, uh, on, um, uh, or, or you can tag me as Bowtie Balloon Guy, and I'll find it that way, all right? So draw me a picture of something I can make, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and make the best picture into one of your balloons. <gasps> do you reckon you do that? Is that okay? Good, so that's your job. You've got to draw me a picture of something that I'm going to make out of balloons. I'm going to try and recreate your pictures as best I can. Excellent. Now then, boys and girls, something that I've been doing today, this is a very cool thing that's happening, is all over the world, lots of balloon people like me are taking part in a big project. And that big project is called One Million Bubbles of Joy. Now this show could be part of that project because what happens is balloon people like me are making lots of balloons and they're putting them outside their houses all over the place. Okay, so if you go for a walk at some point for your daily exercise, you might see a balloon outside someone's house or in their window and they have all taken part in the one million bubbles of joy. So keep your eyes out when you go for your exercise walk. I've done it and I'll show you a picture of my house or my front door. And this, if I get the right way up, is my front door. I'm going to hold it nice and close to the camera. As you can see, look, above my door, I have put a big thing with lots of balloons and it's all very colourful. Look at that. So that's what I've done for the one million bubbles of joy. How cool is that? There you go. It's very big. I nearly couldn't get out the front door. There we go. So that's what I've done for the one million bubbles of joy. Now, boys and girls, we're nearly coming to the end now, but don't worry, we've got uh, we've got a few more things to mention. I will be back on Sunday, okay, three o'clock same time. I plan to do this every Thursday and Sunday while you're all off school, okay. So every Thursday and Sunday at three o'clock, all right. If you can send me all your pictures, you can send me your birthdays, you can send me your jokes. You send me any mentions, okay? If there's any mentions I've missed today, I will mention you on Sunday. I'll go through the comments, I'll write them all down, and we'll give everybody a mention on Sunday. So, so you can make some comments today, and I will mention you. All right, so well done. So if I haven't mentioned you today, I will do it. And uh, one last thing, boys and girls, is that uh, I've been working on this quite a lot for the past few days, and it's going to take me quite a lot. So uh, if anybody would like to send me a donation, I'm going to put a link a PayPal link down below in the comments, all over the place I put it. And if any would like to send me a donation, you're quite well. Uh, that would be gratefully received, okay? Because uh, I need to keep my balloons, I keep buying my balloons, and keep spending, uh, keep making them. So if any does want to, uh, uh, then then that'd be great. But don't worry if not, because we're going to carry on anyway. So that's cool. So I hope you've had a lovely time today. All right, and uh, I'm going to put Mr. Gruffalo right there. Uh, so we can we can all say bye bye Gruffalo and I hope you have a lovely day. Keep a, a look in all the comments on the Bowtie Balloon Guy page and everywhere and uh, I hope you all have a lovely few days and I will see you on Sunday. So bye bye everybody.